Hey YouTube, it's SJ and I'm back with a sneaker unboxing. It has been a while, but I am back. We we were lucky actually on the, I've already taken them out of the box, on end, never win anything on ends. The only thing we've ever won is Mr. B's clown shoes and these J1s. And I'm super excited to actually get these. These are Nike's second collab this year, I think, with uh, Atlanta-based Amamia Boutique. Um, first release was obviously the, the J3, I think, and these are the J1, which I prefer. So let's get to the unboxing. This is a super nice, oh, which camera around? Super nice box. It's got like this um, plastic covering over it. It's well cool. I haven't had a, a box like this from Nike for a while. Now, how the hell? Ah, you slide it out. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, ah! Duh! <laughs> Obviously, this is a disastrous unboxing because I haven't done one for ages, but there we go. There is the Nike box. It's a nice sort of um, sail and sort of maroon colour. But these, let's do it properly. These are the Air Jordan and Mamouille 1 Retro High OG UK Sale. Uh, UK 6 sale, sorry, I was a bit close to my eyes, this. Burgundy and white, and the code is DC0709710015. There we go. Do you know, every Christmas, I seem to get lucky with a pair of Jordans. And the best Jordans always, ooh, ooh, come out the end of the year. Ah. Been a bit of disaster here. This is a disastrous unboxing, people. I've got tissue paper stuck in the lid, but this box has been designed so nicely. Look at that with Jumpman himself there, I think. But yeah, super, super nice. Really, a lot of thought has gone into the packaging on this. A lot of thought. Then you've got the fancy tissue paper as well in the box. Let's open these up. Okay, these are lovely. These are so nice. These are so nice. True story. Obviously, I went in for these on sneakers. Didn't get them, nor did Mr. B. He entered the raffle on end, but actually forgot whether he entered for himself or for me. So we had like several hours wait to actually see which ones they were, because he couldn't even find the order. Um, but yeah, look at these. They are nice people. Really nice. Let me just get the other one, actually. There we go. So, they're in this lovely sale. Um, it's really weird because it's got... Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like a pearlized finish to it. And I'm not sure that the camera, when Mr. B is able to, is going to be able to pick that up. No, let's try this camera over here. Can you see that on the toe box? See, it has that sort of pearlized, almost sheen to it. It's really weird, but it's absolutely lovely material. Now, I can't remember whether this cracks away and has the burgundy underneath it. I don't think it does, but it, it, it kind of looks like it might do, but I really don't think it does. But the material is so nice on these. Really, really nice. Um, you know, sometimes with a Jordan, the materials can be a bit hit and miss, but whenever they do a collab like this, the materials are always lovely. Then you've got that sort of snake skin effect, and I, you all know I love it. Snaky skin effect on the swoosh there, and that lovely burgundy. Uh, the Air Jordan on the wings. Again, that snaky effect on the, um, the collar cuff around the back of the angle, ankle. Then the burgundy quilted on the ankle collar. I'm just gonna hold that up. Yep, really, really nice. And then you've got the tag just here. And then I think, and I'm just gonna have a quick look on this one. Not on that one. Which one's on? I'm sure I've seen on another. unboxing and I can't do it because it's 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 got there's some writing on the inside there but you can't see it because he still have um, like the plastic 
lace bag actually attached them like Mr. B's getting all involved here. There we go. There is some writing on the inside that I can't quite see what it says. But these are so, can you do the taffy taffy so that I'm in focus please? <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's looking at the sneakers like he's doying you're doing a really really crap job with this unboxing I know that's what he's thinking um, but yeah he's having a good look at them behind the camera and then you've got the Nike Air on the tongue tab can you do the tappy tappy he's literally like lich doing the unboxing himself behind the camera here right come on come on director direct me You've got the uh, Nike Air on the tongue tab with Amamurali. Yeah, no, I, this is a terrible unboxing. This is quite possibly one of the worst unboxings I've done. As I said, it's been a while. I'm out of practice. Got a lovely suede on the tongue there. Absolutely lovely. And you can really see that quilt in there. They're just so nice. And you've got the sort of sail. I don't know what Mr. B is doing behind the camera, but he's doing like this, and I really do not have a clue what that means. What does that mean? It means take the shoe tree out. Take the shoe tree out, right, okay. It's like chopping wood. <laughs> then on the inside, because this is what he was like going, oh, there's something on the inside. It says, Ernest. <laughs> oh my God. It says, you're not gonna see it, Ernest which is, I believe, the nickname of the guy that owns the store. His air nestles, I don't know, I don't know, I'm losing it all now. Lost the plot, lost the plot. Worst unboxing ever, I'm sorry people. But yeah, stitched in, not often you get a stitched in label on a Jordan. It's normally just shoved in there with a bit of old glue, you know, might stay on, might not. But look at those materials, look at that really nice sole and the, the, the midsole in that sort of sail off-white colour, then that burgundy sole to match the rest of the sneaker. These, I'm going to say it people, I'm going to say it, they might be my favourite sneaker of the year. And I know that that's quite a statement because we've still got a couple of weeks left, but I've been really, really picky this year. And these are lovely, they're flipping lovely. They've also got, I hate it, I hate that Jordans don't come laced. Just, just lace your sneakers, please, please. These have got flat waxed laces, like my, um, like some of my other Jordans actually. And they've got the silver aglets on the end there. You probably can't even see that. And was there a spare pair of laces? Yes, there is. There's like this sail, sort of pearlized color. Uh, which is quite nice actually, but I think I'm going to stick with the burgundy. And again, they're like flat wax laces. They don't look quite, oh, they are so thick. That's, but yeah, super, super nice. Anything else I've missed on these? I don't think so. Just, you've got, this, this is all satin as well on the back of the tongue. They're lovely. Really lovely. I flipping love these. They're so nice. <laughs> super, super pleased with these. Um, yeah, not a lot else to say really. Um, <laughs> as I said, I haven't done a sneaker boxing for ages. This was a bit of a disaster, but they're a lovely pair of sneakers. Um, and if you are new around here and you've made it this far in this video, uh, thank you. Um, they're not normally as shambolic as this. Um, so come along and join us every Sunday for Sneaker Stream Sunday, where we stream, chat sneakers, look at what's in the sneaker news. Also look at what you, you out there, are wearing on your feet on Instagram. Um, and that is at 8 p.m. here in the UK, which is 12 p.m. on the West Coast, and uh, 3 p.m. on the East Coast. Is that right, 3 p.m. on the East Coast, or is it 2 p.m.? I'm suddenly having a moment of time zones. <laughs> 3 p.m. and about 5 a.m. if you're in Tokyo. But yeah, come along and join us. And uh, if you like this video, give it the thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. That's cool, you know, don't mind. Don't mind at all. Uh, leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think of these. Best Jordan of the year? I think so, I think so. Best sneaker of the year. Strong words, strong words, I know. But yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And we will see you in the next upload. Bye.